Hey, Lisa, the first value that I like this week is Jalen Waddle. The Miami Dolphins pass catchers, they're a little bit banged up. We saw that this past week, and this past week, Jalen Waddle saw a lot of volume in that Dolphins offense. He ended up catching 10 of his 13 targets for 70 yards, and he had a pair of touchdowns. Miami's been one of the past heaviest teams this year in neutral game scripts, and they get an Atlanta team that's been a top 10 opponent for wide receivers when looking at adjusted fantasy points allowed. So as long as those injuries are lingering, Waddle should see lots of volume, making him a solid option at $5,900. Next is Daryl Williams. I like Daryl Williams last week. I like him again this week. In his first games without Clyde Edwards-Alaire last week, Williams saw 87.5% of Kansas City's running back rushes, and he had a near 9% target share. I'll take that all day long in a Patrick Mahomes-led offense. Williams should continue operating as the workhorse against Tennessee this weekend in a game with by far the highest over-under on this slate. So he's a really cost-effective way to get a piece of that game. And then finally, just a little bit more expensive than Daryl Williams is Leonard Fournette. He's $7,000. Fournette's been Tampa Bay's workhorse running back for a lot of the season, but especially over the last three weeks. Over his team's last three games, he's averaged a target share per game of 12.5% and a running back rush share of 72%. We know that Tampa Bay's offense can score points. I don't really care who the opponent is. This weekend, Tampa Bay has an implied team total of 30 points. I want their running back. I want Leonard Fournette. And he's a very, very nice price point at $7,000.